right, y'all, so it is National Moth Week. Today is day three, so I'm going to try to be doing some light trapping for moths every night this week, uh, rain or shine. We just had a pretty good rain for about the last hour, hour and a half or so, and we still have about 30 more minutes of a light sprinkle, but I think we want to go ahead and set up the lights anyway just to catch anything that's out flying early. And I don't think the rain will affect the lights any, but... We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up and started out, and we'll see what I find. I'll be back in just a minute. If you watched either of my last two videos, you will notice something a little bit different. I have um, a white light set up as well as the two uh, black lights. So this is the strongest wattage I had in my house. It's only, I think, 1,600 lumens, which isn't terribly bright. But, uh, hopefully the different spectrum might help uh, attract a few things. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. I've already got a taker and it's only been on for about 30 seconds now. All right, well, I'm going back inside for the next hour or so. All right, time for the 10 o'clock check. Uh, it is still raining, sadly, but it's not too bad. I'm walking up, I can already see we have a few critters already up here. So let's see what we got. Um, June bugs, as you'd expect. Let's see. Ooh, some kind of, uh, uh, one of the ignomonid wasps, I believe. So that's an ovipositor at the end. It's not a stinger. Um, so they use that to lay eggs. Um, most of them are parasitic. They'll lay eggs in, like, beetle grubs and things like that. Um, I'm gonna have to look this one up for you. This one's a, uh, I believe it's pronounced ge geometer moth. Let's see, a couple more of these. Um, so again, most of these moths I'm going to have to actually look up tonight and have to uh, put in in the morning. This guy over here is neat. He reminds me of a, what's called a forester's moth, but he's much smaller. So, that should be a pretty distinctive one, though. Mm -hmm. oh. Here's another one of the uh, bird-dropping mimics. I think it's called a smaller uh, bird-dropping moth or something like that. This right here might win for the tiniest moth of the day. I don't know if I can get my finger next to it. But yeah, you can see just how tiny that little guy is. Okay, got another cool one over here, but he keeps trying to fly off on me. So let's see if I can get him in focus. It's really cool. Almost like a leopard print moth. It refuses to focus in at all. Okay, we're out here for the 11 o'clock check. It looks as though the rain has finally let up. And it looks like we've actually... It's not as much as the last couple of nights. But... looks like we've got quite a few moths still hanging around here. So I'm not sure if the white light's attracting more or not. It definitely seems like this sheet has more on it, but I don't know if it's just because it's brighter. Oh, here we go. This is a rosy maple moth. These guys are absolutely gorgeous. Alright, so here's a pretty cool find. So I've seen this guy and almost didn't even peek up here to look. I just thought it was another one of those... Um, stag beetles that I got from last night. When I look a little closer, oh, look at those mandibles. Or whatever they're called. I don't know if they're mandibles or not. Come here, you. There he is. Look at that guy. So I think this is a elephant stag beetle. It's one of the stag beetles. It's a male. They've got these really impressive um, jaws, I guess. And 
there. They can pinch. Well, I'll, I'll let them pinch me, actually. Come here. Oh, and then drop them onto the ground. Okay, come here. Like I said, they can they can pinch you pretty good if they want to, but he's really not. Honestly, he's uh he's just kind of chilling. All right, so time for the midnight check. Huh? This may be the last one I do tonight. I am tired, y'all. Our old friend the mantid fly is back. Always cool. Some stink bugs. A couple of cool uh, moss in there. Let's see. A few neat moss there. A lot of these little brown jobs. Let's Walk over here and check around the other side. This is a, I think it's called a small green paraza moth, paraza moth. Some crickets. Rosy maple moth still out and about, looking good. So check the other side of the. All right, so yeah, the uh, the rain definitely slowed it down a little bit. There's definitely not as much activity as what there was for the past two nights. It's also a little bit uh, cooler too. So, that might have something to do with it as well. So, I'll tell you what. This is going to be my last check. I'm going to leave the lights going. Okay, y'all. Here we are the next morning. So, this is the end of night three of National Moth Week and the beginning of day four. Um, so, the rosy maple moth from last night has hung around. We've got a few... Um, Oh, they're just interesting little moss hanging around here, too. If I can get them into focus. There we go. Um. Sorry about that. The wind is fighting me right now. Uh, so, yeah. Lots of these little, little brown jobs. Bunch of stink bugs up there in the creases. Um, and then I see something already, which has been a target species of mine for quite some time. It's not this guy, though. Okay. So over here it is. So this is a Tursa Sphinx. This is a moth that I've been wanting to see for a couple of years now, since I, since I first saw a photo of somebody posted online of one. Um, super cool moss. It almost looks like it's been, um, I don't know, I think the pattern looks like it's been drawn on or something. It's really cool. It looks like somebody, if somebody did a sketch of a moth, this is what uh, they would might do. And it's got those really unique wing shapes. It's just a really cool moth. Um, let's see what else is around. Lots of these little guys. That one's got an interesting tail shape. It's probably a male. That's probably a, a scent organ or something. So yeah, I think the white light has, uh, I think I did actually get better results with the white light.
Okay, let's check the other side. Oh, little stag beetles hanging out still. Oh, okay, here we go. So, not a moth, but interesting to see none the least. None the least, none the less. Cool uh, Eastern Newt. Didn't expect to see that over here. Um, backside's got a few, it's got uh, fewer, but there's still quite a few over here. I like this guy's fuzzy outline. Very cool. Another one doing the weird arched back thing. That's my dog giving me uh let me know it's ready to go back inside. But I'm not ready yet. I'm looking at moths. Alright, so yeah, all in all, the the rain didn't uh, slow it down too much. I still got a really good, um, really good turnout of moths, and I got the uh, Tursa Sphinx. So I'm uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Ooh.